yesterday that they're going to be doing for Rampage as a buy-in, which is pretty sick because they're doing Suzuki versus Danielson for free. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, but no Dynamite tonight, so I wanted to do something special for you guys. Also, since my life is literally a sleepless mess right now, we just had our second kid, so thank you to everyone who has said congratulations over the last couple days. Whew. Yeah, so hey, <laughs> Zach says, my son is sad he's missing this because he's in school. That's okay, don't worry. But this will be replayed on the YouTube channel, so uh, if you want to tell me your son's name, by all means, go nuts. All right, so for today, how this is going to work, we're not doing a raffle today. The only thing we're going to do, I don't want to make any work for anybody, especially myself. I'm way too exhausted. Life comes at you fast with a newborn baby, guys. So uh, what we're going to do today is anyone that has a question that they for sure want to make sure it's read, use the super chat. There's no limit. There's no uh, minimum amount. I just want to see the colored bubble come up so that I can read it. Also, not to give too many secrets away, I wear glasses and I'm not wearing them right now. I left them upstairs. I also hate how I look in them. So I can barely see the chat. So <laughs> when the colored bubbles come up, it's much easier for me. But if you want to send some funny questions, go for it. If you want to have some uh, some silly fun. Oh, here we go. Ian Hunter coming in hot with the super chat. Been a rough month for Hamilton Wrestling. Rest in peace to Noel, a.k.a. Spike Hammer. Yes, that is an extremely tragic story um, that I will... I don't really want to get into it. Um, and yes, uh, Kurt, Scotty O'Shea, uh, Hacker, people that know that... Um, I run Alpha One Wrestling. Know uh, my history with Hacker. Also, one of my literal best friends growing up as a teenager. Probably some of the most influential times of my life was spent with Hacker Scotty O'Shea. So, if you can and you're able to help, they do have a GoFundMe for him. He had emergency uh, brain surgery to remove a tumor. Literally within hours of finding out, I think they sent him to the hospital and his wife... Uh, and three-month-old daughter are now at home right now. So um, thank you for the super chat and bringing that up, especially at the beginning. If anyone is able to donate, Alpha One Wrestling posted a link um, on their Twitter account. So click it. Uh, it's a GoFundMe. Even if you send $2, $5, whatever. Whatever you're able to give. Whatever you're able to help out with. Or even honestly just retweeting it and, uh, and, and sharing it. All right, let's get down to the brass tacks, though. Let's get some funny questions in here. Just trying to read these with my... Someone said, buys Tony Stark glasses. Yeah, no, I know. You know, actually, I think I could pull that off. I'd probably be able to. Ethan and Alpha One have posted the link to GoFundMe. Also under Egomaniacs hashtag. Thank you, Nails. I appreciate it. AJ Dun Dujnik wants to know who my dream opponent is. I mean, it's The Rock, always. All right, Dante151 coming in hot with a super chat. We're going to get to that one. Hey, Ethan, when are you and Scorpio Sky going after the AEW tag team titles? You know what? That's a great question, especially because... We're not even in the rankings, and I think we've only lost one tag match, and that was to Sting and Darby Allen. Uh, we have literally won every other tag match we've had, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure my record is, like, impeccable. I have 10 wins in the singles, and I have 10 wins in tag teams, and I've never been pinned or submitted in AEW. What rankings am I in? This many. Zero. Double zero. Double zero. Double zero. We got another super chat from Val Pancakes. Just wanted to say hi and congrats with the pancake emoji. Hello and thank you. Uh, 
the congratulations has been amazing, especially from all the fans sending them in. But uh, as you could tell by the bags under my eyes, it's been a uh, an eventful week, <laughs> a very eventful week, to say the least. Drew says, "Evil Uno is about to go bankrupt buying Simpsons figures thanks to you." Good. Good. He should start collecting stuff. It's fun. Plus, it gives him more to do when we go on these toy hunts. I'm going to turn this light down just a little bit. It's really bright. There we go. I got a new ring light. That's exciting. Very happy about that. Uh-oh. Here we go. Wesley Willis. Canada's Drag Race Season 2 premieres tomorrow. Are you watching? There's Canada's Drag Race? Is that is it still with RuPaul? I, okay, so I watched the show with my wife because uh, she's a big fan, and I love the performances, especially when they battle each other. It's like life or death. I've seen some of the crazy... Uh, we've talked about this on the streams before. I've seen some of the craziest acrobatic maneuvers and, like, death-defying stunts on uh, Drag Race. I would had no idea that there was a Canadian version. Where does that air? I don't have cable. So I stream uh, everything. So if you could find a place for me to watch it, I'll sign up. And, and I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to guess that I already have the streaming service. <laughs> this is what a pandemic does. Staying at home 24-7, you're watching everything. Uh, Jeremy Ra, you have been really awesome just interacting with your posts in YouTube. It's always cool to see you pull the curtain back. Congrats, brother. Thank you. I try my very best it's funny because i was just having a talk with my wife yesterday or the day before these days are blended together but i was talking to her about how uh the comments are getting so overwhelming that i feel bad about the people that comment instantly because i'm trying to get to them as soon as i can and then i end up getting totally swamped and then a new video comes out and then more comments come so i've been noticing a lot of people have been commenting that um I haven't been commenting. I'm trying my absolute best. So I appreciate you saying that, Jeremy, because I definitely do try uh, and get to the comments as much as possible and as best as possible. All right, here we go. Try not to miss any here. Bridget Hulet. Hulet. $2 if you could any Marvel Legend... Wait. If you could have any Marvel character to dinner, who would it be? If I could have any Marvel character to dinner, who would it be? Doctor Strange. I feel like he'd have the most interesting stories. Also, he can create a portal that we can go have dinner anywhere or bring anyone else. Um, I'm going to go with Doctor Strange. Estilo Latino. Congrats to you and the family. Dumb question. Never a dumb question. Since you have a newborn, will you be part of tonight's AEW Games Sus Day stream? No. Uh, my So I have a bunch of interviews I have to do for AEW right after this stream. Um, and just finding time and working out that was extremely stressful. Right now, my free time is probably at an ultimate low. So that's why uh, my Patreon right now is loaded with content because I tried to backlog myself to be able to get you guys as much content as possible. Also to give myself a break during this time of having a newborn. Um, so our son is taking priority. So I will not be streaming tonight with the AEW crew. But uh, if you guys want to join, by all means, I think you guys will have a good time. They're doing some fun stuff over there. Alan Higgins. Hey, Ethan, just wanted to say thank you for your vlogs and toy hunt videos. My mom was diagnosed with cancer and rushed to the hospital yesterday. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Alan, uh, can everyone in the chat please send the heart emojis uh, or just a positive comment or a prayer for Alan? I, if you guys were a part of the beginning of the stream, uh, which was only 10 minutes ago, but... Um, you would have heard about Hacker Scotty O'Shea. Alpha One just posted about it. Terrible news as well. Uh, another um, 
local wrestler. Uh, sadly, there was he had pa he passed away as well. So this is not not the good news train. And Alan, I'm very very sorry to hear uh, about your mom. And uh, from me personally, I'm sending love, sending prayers, and hoping for the best. And I uh, hope that the content we put on the YouTube channel twice a week can distract you just a little bit, or at least put a smile on your face for a split second. Patrick Bantu just wanted to send five Canadian dollars. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it very much. Nails in New York. Sean Dean got his official AEW shirt today. Hit him with the deal. That's awesome. What's your favorite wrestling shirt that isn't your own? Also, did you come up with? How did you come up with the name All Ego? I wish there was a character limit on your super chats, so you couldn't have sent that last question. <laughs> um, what is my favorite wrestling shirt that isn't my own? Oh man, that's a great question, especially because AEW has some really fun ones. But I would say my favorite is Evil Uno's. Uh, it says Evil Uno, but it makes out his mask, and I think the design is like genius. Jeremy Raw. You could do a $2.99 a month membership here on your channel when you knew, uh, oh, I can? I don't know what that, I, I don't want to have a membership on YouTube. I put the content out for free. If people are uh, want to see it that early, they're more than welcome to join Patreon. Um, and I, everyone that's on my Patreon uh, gets as much of my attention as possible. But YouTube, YouTube is, uh, is, is a free thing. I want people to be able to just enjoy the content. The question was, when you knew you were facing Sting, what were your thoughts? Well, um, it's Sting. <laughs> so you can imagine what was going through my mind. Uh, legendary wrestler, my first real, I guess, story in AEW uh, against Darby Allen and, and, and Sting is, I don't know. It was stressful in a way that i knew that i had to deliver and perform uh there's a certain expectation and level at this stage of my career and obviously aew one of if not in my opinion it is the best professional wrestling company in the world so you got to be uh at your best and uh i think sting brought that out of me and scorpio but i also think that we were able to do that and bring out the best in sting Get him to pop off that shirt and show his tight tits. Sting's got some pretty tight tits. Oh, thank you guys. I see all the heart emojis. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Michael Jensen, I love your content. I'm bringing my daughter to Dynamite in Boston. Hope to meet some of you guys. She loves AEW. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, as a girl dad, and uh, I would love to take my daughter to a, a professional wrestling show as a fan. I think it would be super fun. Uh, probably do an independent show locally. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I want to just cheer with her. Maybe we'll do something else other than wrestling. Like when, when I went to go see the Twins play in Minnesota with... Um, top flight and eric cannon i was into it i did all the chants i did all the waves it was fun it's fun to like give back especially you know i've been wrestling for 15 years or something like that i should check it out 2006 november of 2006 i started but fans have been there for me so it's fun for me to to return return the favor that's all, why i always love going to stand-up comedy i'll be the loudest laugher in the room Richard Hayes, when are you returning to freelance? When they book me. Let me know. Freelance. I'd love to come back. All right. Uh, thank you, Brian, for telling people to chill with the spam. Appreciate it. 
What do you think about the tag team, The Acclaimed? That's from Dante151. Big fan. I've featured them both uh, on many vlogs, especially Bowens. Bowens is a big Toy Hunt uh, roster member for the YouTube channel. Anyone that watches the Toy Hunts knows uh, Anthony Bowens is the man. So, yeah, big fan of The Acclaimed. Also, I think the raps, some of them are hilarious. Some of them make me go, ooh, <laughs> but some of them are hilarious, and it's very entertaining. Zach LaRock Walker. Hopefully, it didn't butcher that. Could you give my son, Charlie, a shout-out? Thanks. What up, Charlie? This is Ethan Page. The best smile in professional wrestling, the tightest tits in the game. Sam, what's up? Also, Charlie, that's a sick name. It's a very manly name. It's a very cool name charlie nice I'm trying to read some of these as they fly by a lot of messages being deleted oh brian said check those dms real quick are we in trouble Uh, Patrick Bantu asks, congrats on the baby. NHL season started. What is my pronostic about the Leafs this year? So, Patrick, I'm not here to break your heart. But I'm here to tell you, I don't watch sports. But, as a Canadian, and I would say it's the closest team to my house, I hope that they win. Awesome. Got those. Sorry, let me uh, get the, the, the cool background music going. TJ wants to know my favorite Pop-Tart flavor. Uh, probably just regular chocolate. All right, sorry. I'm just going to scroll up and make sure I don't miss any. Dr. Six Finger... Esquire, how pumped are you to see yourself in a video game? It would be pretty sweet. I don't know if I'm going to be in the AEW release of the game. I think I just missed the cut because I know they take like years to produce and I might have started in the company a little too late. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, you get so popular, maybe they'll make an exception, but I'm not holding my breath. It is cool, though, that I am in the mobile game. You can go download that right now. It's free, and you can book me to be the champion. TNT champ, world champ, tag team champion with Scorpio Sky. Whatever you want. It's a uh, free AEW mobile game. It's really fun. Alan Higgins, two questions. I know AEW just came to Rochester, but are they coming to Buffalo? And what will it take to get MJF on a toy hunt? I highly doubt MJF would ever want to go on a toy hunt, but never say never. And I'm going to go uh, on a limb and say I'm sure we'll end up in Buffalo eventually. When? I don't know. Brian says check those DMs. I think I did. Unless I missed it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it. Share, uh, Ethan, Sharonica from Patreon is here. She has COVID and is very down right now. Help her through her thoughts. She loves you. I love her. Aw. Shoot me a message on Patreon. I'll try and get back to you by the end of the day. And uh, I, I hope you're here. And I hope you're hanging out. And I hope you're watching the stream. And, uh, yeah. And I hope some of these questions people are asking is making you laugh or smile. But... Let's send some hearts again, please. Also, you're for sure going to make it through this. Drink lots of water. Um, lots of rest. Hydrate yourself. And you're going to get through it.
Lugnut6, thank you and all at AEW for rekindling my love of professional wrestling, especially indie wrestling. And I've gone from 499 to 321 en route to 250 pounds. Holy crap, dude. That's incredible. Holy. You're, so if your goal is to literally lose half of yourself... You're, you want to go from 499, which, if I listen, if it was me, I'd be telling everyone 500. Just because I know I'm going to lose it. So I'm like, look, I was 500 pounds. But now I'm 321. Bam. On route to 250. I'm going to cut half my weight. That's incredible. You should be very proud of that. Uh, I'm proud for you on your behalf. Andy Morris. Hi from Ottawa, fellow Canadian. How are you doing? Thought I'd ask a more serious question. How do you manage your mental health in stressful slash busy times? And do you have certain tips or techniques you use that you could share with others? Um, therapy. Uh, I do it once a week. Not to give too much information about my personal life. But it's very helpful. And uh, although I have a very interesting life that I'm sure many people um, have a certain opinion of or preconceived notion of uh, there's a lot of very stressful and tough things that I have to manage and react to in a certain way or kind of just ignore um, yeah it's for me therapy helps a lot and just really trying to remind myself that everything within arm's reach is the most important. Um, so you kind of make your world a little bit smaller. And I think right now with how society is and how the world is and how technology and social media is, I don't think we were ever supposed to live like this. I don't think we were ever supposed to have this much contact with this many people. And our sense of community has been like demolished because it went from the people you could call on the phone that are 5 to 10 to 20 minute drive away to literally everyone in the entire world. And uh, not to spin this into an Ethan Page crybaby story, but um, everyone has to deal with that. Literally every single person has to deal with that because of cell phones. Any human being has the ability to ruin someone's day uh, by a click of a button today. And um, for me, it's amplified times a million, literally. So <laughs> it's very stressful. But yeah, I hope that answers your question. Probably not. I just rambled and probably made no sense. But uh, I, I, yeah. Andy, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was an awful answer. <laughs> but I know there's help out there if people want it. And uh, yeah, make your world a little smaller and everything will make a little bit more sense. Carl Peterson, big fan from South Africa. Oh, that's awesome. I still watch the documentary about you and Darby from Evolve. Much love. Thank you. All right, so we got a little break here. I wanted to um, throw to a couple things. One of them being my awesome t-shirt, playedbyjulian.com. It's available on so many things. Cups, mugs, t-shirts, tank tops, pillows, long sleeves, hoodies, uh, sweatshirts, stickers. This is the official vlog t-shirt. And today is the live stream vlog. So if you ever want to support, if you ever want to wear my face on your back and walk around and have people look at you like what the hell are you wearing and why is this guy dreaming about cheeseburgers donuts action figures curly fries and himself well you can tell him about the vlog it would be amazing so here you go that's the best way to support and smart sweets official slash unofficial <laughs> sponsor of everything i do because i love their candy and if you ever want to use it, you can use my code official underscore ego 10 and it gets you 10% off orders over $30. So smartsweets.com if you want to do that. Um, 
And we're about to get to a really fun part here where I open a bunch of fan mail that's been left over from my birthday or sent after. I appreciate so much uh, when fans send anything in. So this is the information. If you ever want to send me mail, this is the best way to do it. Now I'm actually going to open a little bit of mail. By little, I mean a lot because I have a lot. This one here was sent to the P.O. Box by Alan Higgins. Oh, crap. Look at that. Oh. oh, man. You going to get me to cry on the stream? Green Ranger and a matching one. Dude, thank you so much. Literally the most adorable thing ever. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot, Alan. Um, so there was that one, and I think there was one more a similar package oh yeah this one's from Alan too Francis says why weren't you on TV last week well I had a baby literally on Wednesday oh dude oh my gosh we got a note let me read the note Hey, what's up, Ethan? I'm a huge fan of yours and enjoy your toy hunts and vlogs. You are killing it on Dynamite. Oh, man. And one day, a future world champion. You're so great to all your fans and do so much. I'm an ultimate Patreon member. Enjoy all your Patreon posts. And here's a little gift for your new bundle of joy. And I know you like Batman. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now let's see what's in here. Oh, no way! Oh, this is incredible! Batman! Joker! I'm gonna give this to him when he's misbehaving. Robin! Oh my god! Oh, oh, we can match. I got my Riddler shirt. You can wear this. Oh, this is sick. Yo, you guys are incredible. Uh, thank you, Alan. The, like, look at, look at that. Look at that's so cool. Is that not the coolest print ever? Oh my God! Thank you so much. He's going to be the best dressed boy in Canada. 100%. 100%. You tell, look at the smile on my face. I can't take it off. All right, we got more mail here. This one is from Amazon. So it might have some information on the inside. Ooh. There is. All right, the card here. Happy birthday! I'm sorry it's late, but I hope you enjoy it and add it to your collection. I'm happy for you and all your accomplishments. God bless. Jeffrey Sites. Thank you, Jeffrey. Let's see what we got here. Also, never apologize. You guys are sweet enough to send me anything. Uh-oh, it's a Funko box. Oh, no way! Amazon exclusive? Glows in the dark? Venomized Doctor Strange. The man I decided to have lunch with. 
That's so cool. Thank you so much. That is awesome. All right, we got a super chat here from Mac MCC030261. I gotta say the full name. You use the super chat. Hi, Ethan. Thanks for all you do for us. Who are your who are three wrestlers you'd like to see come through the forbidden door to AEW? Thanks. Okay. One, obviously, Dan Housen. Get that man through the forbidden door just so I can vlog him backstage. <laughs> Two, uh, I think Cody Lane is going to be a breakout star on the independents, and I uh, wish nothing but the best, and will go out of my way to try and help him do anything uh, with wrestling. I think he's awesome, super awesome. So I would like to see him even just come do AEW Dark or Elevation uh, and just have a good showing. Third... That's a great question. Uh, you know, I think Chris Bay could have some really crazy matches. Uh, or Jake something. I'm going to say Jake something. I think, not that there's a lack of heavyweight wrestlers in AEW, but I think his style would clash with so many people's in the best way. And look at him. He looks like a prototypical pro wrestler, and I love those. We're talking to a guy whose favorite wrestler is The Rock, and also loves Batista. So Jake something's cool as hell. <laughs> oh, fans saying Osprey? Osprey would be pretty sick. Osprey would be awesome. He would he would mesh well with lots of people, I think. All right. We're going to keep it going. This one here is from Michael Sampson, Texas. Okay. Package from Texas. Do I have scissors? Does not look like it. Oh my gosh, my poor fingers. There we go. I got it. Ooh. Always good to see Disney wrapping paper. Oh. No. No! Oh my god. So if you watch my toy hunts, guys, uh, you know how crazy this is that someone sent me this. Um, I've been looking for this Moon Knight book in my toy hunts, specifically the ones with Dan Housen. This is the trade. Someone literally just sent this to me. You're the man. Let me read the information again so I can give him a huge shout out. Michael Sampson. I, I think, I believe you contacted me on either Instagram. Um, you have no idea what this means to me, especially uh, since I um, have late nights and I'll probably just be sitting there bored at 4 a.m. feeding my son. This is going to entertain me. I've been dying to read this book. Thank you so much. And not uh, to end there. Literally sent me first issue, Moon Knight. Incredible. Thank you so freaking much. No way! Oh, there's a letter. And, yeah, no, I'm going to do some figure photography with this. Thank you. This is so cool. What, like, just a Super Moon Knight box? All right, let's read this. Let's read this. Okay. Hey, Julian, Ethan, Egon. <laughs> Not really sure what I'm supposed to call you. 
Anyways, glad to send you the Moon Knight trade paperback. Hope you enjoy it. Moon Knight is my favorite comic book character. You probably already have the figure, but wanted to send it anyways. Also, it's the first issue of the series that got me hooked on Moon Knight as a kid. I always enjoy your videos, especially the Toy Hunts with Dan Housen. I also have my Instagram page with action figures. It's not as good of pictures as yours, but stuff I make is not photography like yours. Mine are comics trying to get a laugh. Oh, that's awesome. Here, let's promote his uh, page. Check it out if you want. It's at AFC underscore action figure comics. So AFC underscore action figure comics. If anybody's into that kind of entertainment, which I know I am, uh, check it out. Anyways, thanks for what you do inside and outside of the ring. Take care, Mike Sampson. Thank you, Mike. That package just blew my mind. And I will for sure be taking photos with that Moon Knight figure. When? Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but I promise you eventually on my figure photography Instagram page, which is at posed by page, I will be posting photos of that uh, on my next round of photos. Usually what I do is I'll take like six to 10 photos. I'll keep them in my phone and then upload them when I remember to use the page. Uh, my Patreon gets them all in a big dump. So if you want to know those, join the Patreon. You'll be able to see them before they're all released. Okay. Next one. This is from E. Alva. Another Texas package. Oh, man. Okay. Hi, Ethan. Happy birthday. I just wanted to send you a little something your way. Hope you like it and it fits. Thank you for your time, energy you give to the vlog, and wishing you nothing but the best. This is from Emily Alva, Miley on Twitter. Ooh, thank you so much. Oh, no way! This is awesome! Hold on, let me get this baby open. Oh! You will be seeing this in many videos. Thank you so much, Iron Paradise. Love the rock. Love wearing tank tops. Love looking jacked. Thank you so much. This is incredible. You guys are too kind. This is extremely sweet. Uh, I love anything that has like black with a white, uh, like whatever is like a reversal. Like if it's a white, I love having the black outline. Thank you. It's too sweet of you. All right, I'm gonna continue going. We got a letter here from Lexington. Ron Dietz for Senate. Hey Ego, I love your toy hunting vlogs. Shameless self plug, I'm a, an autistic and mentally disabled PTSD candidate for US Senate. I'll be at the Independence uh, MO show and would love to meet everyone. SenatorDeets.us. Well, thank you so much for using the super chat and good luck. Uh, you're a candidate for US Senate. All the best. Oh, look at this. I wonder if you guys are able to see. It's a hand-drawn picture of me. That's so cool. Hello, Ethan, if that is your real name. If I'm on the birthday stream, then hi, YouTube. If you're just reading this, not on the stream, then okay. Happy birthday. My name is, I think it says Gavin Boast. And I want to be in the business of pro wrestling. My handwriting sucks, but in this whirlwind of a year and a half, AEW has rekindled my love for wrestling. And I can say Ethan Page is one of my favorite wrestlers from in the ring to on the mic and on the vlog. Thank you, All Ego Ethan Page. Now here is some of my okay fan art. I would say it's more than okay. I love it. Thank you so much. 
Uh, you're the best, Gavin. That's great. I appreciate the letter. Mikey G coming in hot with the super chat. Got to get Ruckus to remix the Men of the Year theme to Dad of the Year. Yeah, and what's that? Reach for the bottle! <laughs> or reach for the wipes! All right. Oh, someone asked my favorite Evolve match. I would say my favorite Evolve match would be me versus Darby Allen in Orlando. All right, this one is an Amazon one as well. So hopefully information is inside. Oh, cool. Well, there's a bunch of, oh, here we go. This will probably arrive after your birthday, but happy birthday. I hope you like it from Elizabeth. Velasco. I do like it. Rita Repulsa from the live action movie. Well, they're all live action because Power Rangers, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Thank you so much. We got a super chat here from Kristen. Hi, Ethan. Recently found your channel and have become such a fan that I even joined the Patreon. Thank you so much. As an Aussie, definitely pop for the bluey shirt. Congrats on all the positive life changes. I freaking love bluey. It's the best show. If you have a kid, watch bluey, please. Speaking of Australia, this box is from Australia. Let's get it open and see what's inside. So this is from Neil... Erickson. Neil Erickson in Australia. Now this box had to go through a lot to get to Canada. Oh. oh my goodness. Christian Ramos. Happy birthday, Ego. Hope you get my email about the statue. Yup, your statue is in the mail. You hope it's a kangaroo. Funny enough, I've actually gotten a kangaroo plushie from Australia on a live stream. they're packaged oh my goodness this is too cute all right hold on oh let me get all this out and then we'll open it all separately all the way from australia when we have ourselves a letter dear ethan i hope you enjoy these gifts for the family with overseas mail the way it is i hope you receive them before christmas we got them we're here they came You've made 2021 way more enjoyable and bearable than it might have been. Thank you for sharing your talents with us. I read where Scorpio Sky had re-signed with AEW, so I hope you two remain a team and seriously go for the titles. That is our goal and plan. Your vlogs continue to be a source of terrific entertainment. I know you are time-consuming, but I know they are time-consuming, but I hope you can continue with them in 2022. I will. I will. To me, Suffering from depression, your biggest contribution is your constant smile and beautiful laugh. Every time you smile, your whole face lights up, and it makes me smile as well. Please keep smiling and laughing. By the time you receive this, your son will probably have been born. Correct. Congratulations. I hope you and Viv are doing well. Thank you again for all you do and who you are, your Aussie fan and friend, Neil. Thank you. And he hand-signed it. That's a very nice touch. All right. Let's see what we got from Neil all the way from Australia for my family because he's trying to make me cry. For baby boy Ego. <laughs> Neil! Neil, Neil, Neil. A man out for my heart. A full-blown Spider-Man 
Look at this. This is incredible. Oh, thank you so much. It's like a costume. The little pajamas. This is amazing. Thank you so much. It's going to take a while for him to grow into these. Knowing my daughter, she's going to force herself to wear them first. She's a big Spider-Man fan. For a little girl ego. Oh, you thought of my daughter too. Oh, oh. This is adorable. Some Supergirl pajamas. Too cute. Thank you so much. Any Anytime anyone thinks about uh, my wife, my kids, it melts my heart. Rob says, you should hold them upside down so Neil can see them properly. <laughs> Mike Lima 777, given the men of the year are working with ATT, who do you think has potential to do really well moving from MMA to pro wrestling? Cheers from Vancouver. Well, I would easy pick Jorge Masvidal. Um, you see that knee he cracked Jericho with? Uh, Paige Van Zant is having a blast. You could tell on screen that she's having fun. And, I mean, we can't ignore the fact that Junior DeSantos is literally wrestling on my team this Friday on Rampage at 10 p.m. on TNT. Tune in. They are all gonna do great. Dave Wonder, yo dude, Full Gear's coming to Minneapolis in November. Up for another toy hunt, got a few new spots to hit up. Cheers, Dave Wheeler. Oh, of course I'm down. I loved the two we did with Dan House and those were awesome. This one says, for the nursery. Still got some more from Neil. Oh, this is cute. It is a Lego clock. And it comes with superhero Lego pieces to attach. That is so cool. Very cool. Thank you so much. Oh, that's gonna be fun to make. I'll do that with my daughter today. All right, and then, whoop. this one says, for Mr. and Mrs. Ego. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see what this is, and then I'm going to get to Krish, who sent a super chat. Holy crap. This is gonna end up in my living room. Uh, it says, we became an unbeatable team July 4th, 2015. That's when we got married. This is adorable. Thank you so much. Let me get back up here. I don't want to miss any of these super chats. So Krish says, love from India, Ethan. This is my first super chat I'm sending to anyone ever. You are awesome and I love your in-ring work and your YouTube content. Thank you. That is some incredible. Uh, thank you for watching all the way from India. Thanks for sending your first ever super chat. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for sending love to me and the YouTube channel. Alan Taylor. Would you rather you own AEW figure or Funko Pop? Shout out from St. Louis. Uh, AEW figure, 100%. Like a six inch toy that I can photograph and 
uh, have throw Darby Allen down the stairs. I would love. I would take that picture every day. A hundred percent AEW Jazzwares figure over uh, a Funko Pop. Also, you'll probably end up seeing the Jazzwares figure in like a Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us in Canada. I'd prefer that over um, being in a wall full of Funko Pops. Yeah. How's the new man cave coming? Terrible. You see this. The rest? Did you see me throw that box? That's how the room is right now. Oh, we got more. We've got, oh wait, no, sorry. We're not done with Neil yet. Sorry. Sorry, Neil, if you're watching from Australia. And this one says, to all ego, Ethan Page. Oh, this is sick. Oh, we'll be photographing this Thor action figure. This is awesome. Look at this thing. It's massive. We're going to open this bad boy up. And we'll be taking photos of this. Maybe he'll fight that Moon Knight figure. Thank you, Neil. Uh, what an amazing package to get from all the way from Australia. Uh, and, and especially that you thought of everyone in my family. It really means the world to me. Thank you. We've got one here from... Presley K. Carpenter from Georgetown, Kentucky? What's KY? KY is Kentucky? Oh, I've been dying to get this. Look at this. That is freaking sick. Wow. That is so cool. I can't wait to hang that up. Gotta put that somewhere. Oh, that's not gonna that's gonna that's not gonna work. I just wanna put it somewhere safe. We got another one here that looks like it fell out. Oh a smaller one. So cool. Looks like we got a note with it. So of course, big fan of AEW, I knew who you were, but not until finding your YouTube channel a few weeks ago and seeing the person behind the character did I find new respect for you and your character as a storyteller. Seeing both sides really shows how good you are at your job. Thank you so much. The inspiration I had for the piece came while sitting at work going through some of your old videos and watching the one where you go off your, uh, where you show off your toy room and thinking I wanted to draw something that would fit well with the theme of the kick-ass room and hopefully you would like it enough to display. 100% this will be displayed in my toy room uh, moving forward. This is a mess right now. I have a crazy Mr. Freeze toy collection that I will eventually organize into a specific section being one of my favorite characters of all time. And that will probably be the centerpiece. Being a massive Batman fan myself, after finishing the video and hearing you talk about how Mr. Freeze is your favorite villain, was all it took for me to have that design. So, I hope you enjoy. P.S. For framing purposes, well, I'm going to save this because he tells me exactly uh, what to... Oh, also I'm including my personal print, which is the 11 by 14. It's not too much to ask. Could you sign it? Uh, I'm proud of the piece and I would love to have it signed so I can hang it. Yes, of course. Um, I'll happily email, uh, mail this back to you, the smaller one. And you sent the perfect tube, so I'll put it right back in that and I'll send it right back to you. Thank you so much, uh, Presley. Amazing art. It's fantastic art. I absolutely love it and it will 100% be hung up. And it looks like we got the last package here. This one is from Erica in Houston, Texas. Erica Escalante. And then after this, I'll answer a couple more questions and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, we got a question coming in from BAM255019. Congrats to you and your wife on the new baby. I bet your daughter's excited for being a big sister now. Thank you for being one of the kindest person 
in person and online. Best toy hunt videos ever. Thanks, Bam. I appreciate it. My daughter is loving being a big sister. She has to remind me that she's a big sister on an hourly basis. So it says, read letter in case you're live. Oh, we're live. Well, we're live, pal. Okay. Hola, Julian equals Ethan Page. I really hope you enjoy the gifts I sent. I'm sure Gabby will look super cute with the bows. Please let me know what she thinks whenever you have time. If the shirt doesn't fit because of your muscles, maybe Viv will enjoy it. Fun fact, you're the first famous dude I have ever written to. I feel like Stan from Eminem. <laughs> that's so great. Oh, that's so great. I just want to tell you how much joy you have brought into my life this year started out rough for me i've been trying to get pregnant for over 10 years and this year i was going to begin another round of treatment march to may i tried and was unsuccessful that's when i started seeing you on aew i had heard of you before but i didn't really know much once uh i found you on youtube boom i was hooked I thought for sure it was going to be like, boom, I got pregnant. <laughs> All right, here we go. I was hooked. One thing I love about wrestling is seeing wrestlers behind the scenes. Sorry. She has amazing, very tiny handwriting. So I'm also, like I said, my old man eyes. Um, I was hooked. One thing I love about wrestling is seeing wrestlers behind the scenes. I want to see who they are as human beings instead of falling into depression after failed treatment your vlogs have kept my spirits high oh that is the sweetest i'm gonna i'm gonna keep reading though i listened to one of your podcast interviews i think with tony and aubrey or ron and you mentioned how you see yourself in the creative side of wrestling i can totally see that i consider myself creative and you have inspired me to start writing again that's amazing especially since i just said your handwriting is incredible i'm gonna start writing some sketches on growing up hispanic that's awesome i currently do improv comedy it's not stand-up but it's fun improv is very fun uh please support local comedy and see if there are improv groups in your town it's like wrestling just without the kicks which is totally true uh, that is a hundred percent true. Keep up the good work. I know you are probably overwhelmed, so remember to take care of yourself. Anytime someone says that to me, it is the greatest feeling because I one hundred percent need to be reminded. Congrats on the baby. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see. The baby in fancies. I'm looking forward to seeing gold around your waist. And I really hope to meet you one day to give you a huge thank you and a hug. If you'll allow it, I will. Um, please check out Station Theater when you're in Houston. We, could, we would love to have you as a guest. I haven't bought a Patreon membership yet, but it's on my to-do list. I really want a signed 8x10, so maybe for Christmas I'll sign up again. Thank you for the inspiration. You are a beautiful person, both inside and out. Happy birthday. From your fan and friend, Erica. My autograph, in case I get famous. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, her Instagram is Erica Needs a Duff. Thank you, Erica. Let's see what you sent. This is so cool. And I'm sorry to hear. Uh, about the pregnancy and treatments. My wife and I were actually having um, some trouble with that too. And uh, 
yeah it's uh it's a lot of stress a lot of stress okay so this one says i do comedy this is a shirt from my home theater i perform at you should stop by and we would love to have you as a guest maybe this is the station theater Oh, that's cool. Improv sketch comedy, station theater. Very cool. Thank you so much. A little cat going to outer space. Oh, these are adorable. My daughter is going to love these bows. Thank you so much. What a, that's a giant pile of stuff for my family. Thank you guys. Breakfast is on me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What a, okay. There's a, there's a triple whammy here. One, everybody knows, cheat days. I love cereal. It's my go-to. Two. People know I love Fruity Pebbles. Three. These are the birthday Fruity Pebbles. Thank you. This is amazing. I really appreciate this. Uh, and that, I think, is a great way to end this. I appreciate everyone for joining. Uh, I'll do, I guess, a, a final... If anyone has a question they'd like to send in, if anyone has anything they'd like to ask, now would be the time. If not, I love you all. The support, the growth, um, the community. I Just seeing you guys interact with each other using hashtag egomaniacs, the kind of uh, family you guys have built around each other, online community is, is amazing. Um, I know earlier I was talking about how our worlds have grown too big and, you know, kind of talking about it in a negative light, but there's so much positive that's come out of technology. It's just, um, that's the balance of life. The good stuff brings bad too. Everything is balanced. So, yeah. Man. Uh, Erica is not on Twitter. She said she doesn't tweet. Just Instagram. Just saw that go through nails oh next week we're back to normal guys fake name no gimmicks we'll be back with a vlog from miami but don't worry there's going to be toy hunts and all that fun stuff coming out on sunday uh so we'll be loaded up with content and then friday the day of rampage i'll be dropping a very special promo that i'll probably upload to youtube today and put it on patreon uh, it'll also be a part of the vlog, so don't worry, you, you won't miss that either. But it's a very special video that we shot to hype up this epic six-man tag live at 10 p.m. on TNT for AEW Rampage. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and if you want to support in any way, go to playedbyjulian.com and grab this awesome merchandise Chris Suma, thank you so much for doing that last minute super chat. I'll see you guys on TV or on YouTube, but I appreciate it. And uh, thanks. <laughs>